when do you decide to do a filling? This is tooth number 12, and it has a stained area that traditionally we would never do anything about it. And the outer layer of tooth structure is enamel, and once it penetrates, or once the decay penetrates the enamel, you will find that it gets to the second tooth structure, which is dented, which is very soft, and really the decay travels very quickly. You can see that little brown spot that's there, and we're removing that. And in theory, that should be right down to the dentin, and that's when we would be able to say, and there's a picture of it, and that's when we know that it needs to be taken care of. When we do something this small, the filling will last for a long time and allow us to be able to not have to do something larger later. In this picture, you'll see where it just enters the dentin, and that's usually when you consider doing it. This is more of a preventive restoration in that regard, and you can see the stain that occurred to the filling that was nearby it. This filling has been done on an older adult. We've been watching this probably about 10 years, and with a laser, uh, in this case it was diagnodent, it was able to continue to get larger and larger readings, and it was about a 30 on the laser reading, and in the past, I've been very confident of going in and being sure that it is in the dentinal areas. Now there are other, and I'm also polishing right there, the old filling just to get some of that stain out. Really wouldn't need to do it. It's just that I'm already there and like to see everything nice and smooth. But what happens, the, and you can see it on other restorations, that once it's in the dentin, over time, it will get larger and larger. So that's why we went ahead and did it. If a person is not having any sugar, you could probably watch it for longer, but it's up to the patient.